MHSAA Executive Director Don Hinn told us a couple weeks ago a delay was imminent, and today that becomes official with the Executive Committee pushing the fall sports season two weeks back. Think about what may happen if when you bring a lot of young people back together uh, and see, see what may happen as far as the virus is concerned there before you actually start your practices. All around us, you know, there were some either canceling or delaying. And uh, we just felt like, you know, to let a little more time go by again, you know, we tried to be cautiously optimistic and, and wait as long as we could in making decisions. And so the delay seemed just like the best option for us at this time. Okay. So week one is now September 4th. Everything scheduled before them will be wiped out, won't be rescheduled. August 10th, the start date for all other sports. Haley Hunter joins us now with some reaction from local coaches. The MHSAA Executive Committee voted today to delay the start of the high school fall sports season by two weeks. Football practice will now begin on August 17th, and opening games will start on September 4th. And Pearl Head football coach Justin Hunter is excited to hear his team will still see a fall season. Football is a livelihood here. It's, it's like that everywhere, but uh, especially in Mississippi and the South. Well, it's, just, it's SEC country. Uh, nobody knows what to do without football season. So I, I think it would have been a. Uh, very, very odd, so to speak. I think that's probably what's best for the kids and just uh, be, getting in playing shape and all the districts. You know, some districts have been uh, uh, more restricted than others uh, just based on the cases that we've seen uh, across the state. But I think the MHSA did a great job and uh, was very thorough with everything. And uh, I think at the end of the day, they made the right decision. Madison Central Athletic Director and Head Football Coach Anthony Hart agrees with the MHSAA's decision and doesn't think moving fall sports to the spring would have been the right move. I don't, I don't think it's best to take it and put it in the, in the spring because then you're moving a spring sport that we lost last year and you're putting it in the fall, in the fall and there's a chance that it gets shut down and then we've lost our spring sports for two consecutive years and as athletic director that's not a that's not a good thing. You're talking about a, a junior who misses his junior and senior year, so I, I don't think that's really a good option for us. Reporting in Pearl and Madison, Haley Hunter, Sports Zone 12.